Did you know that a lack of antioxidants in our bodies can speed up aging and the development of chronic diseases? It's due to the accumulation of free radicals in our bodies. But what are antioxidants exactly? How do they help fight free radicals and eventually assist in staying healthy? Antioxidants are compounds that protect human cells from damage caused by the overproduction of molecules called free radicals. Antioxidants are naturally produced by our bodies but can also be absorbed through diet. There must be a balance between free radicals and antioxidants for our bodies to work properly. Otherwise, too many free radicals might lead to cellular damage detrimental to our health. But what are free radicals exactly? Free radicals are highly reactive compounds that can only become stable when they bind to other atoms, molecules, or ions. Because of that, they can often attack healthy cells, which may lead to damage. But why are free radicals so reactive? It's because of their unstable molecular structure. Free radicals are different from other molecules because they have missing electrons from their structure. As a result, they try to become stable by stealing electrons from nearby molecules in order to fill their electron shell. Sometimes it can be beneficial. For example, free radicals can steal electrons from pathogens and kill them, which is important for our immunity. When their concentration becomes too high, Free radicals attack molecules in healthy cells. But how do free radicals form in our bodies in the first place? Free radicals are often produced during natural processes in our bodies. For example, this can happen when cells turn food into energy during a process called cellular respiration, during which small amounts of free radicals can escape the mitochondria. Picture how energy is generated in a power station. Apart from energy, there are always unwanted emissions that are made. Similarly, in metabolic processes, these byproducts are free radicals. Free radical levels can also increase due to environmental factors and our lifestyles. That includes smoking, alcohol consumption, and pollution exposure. As a result, healthy cells can be damaged. Fortunately, our bodies have a defense mechanism if free radical levels get too high. This is exactly where antioxidants come into play. Antioxidants are molecules that play a defensive role by fighting free radicals in the body. They do so by neutralizing them. Picture this process as a scavenger hunt, where antioxidants are hunters and free radicals are scavengers. When free radicals get caught by antioxidants, they become stable and no longer attack healthy cells. However, if there aren't enough antioxidants to neutralize free radicals, it leads to a state known as oxidative stress. It's a condition when free radical levels increase to very high levels and start attacking molecules, such as proteins, lipids, and DNA in healthy cells. It can lead to gene mutations and disrupted protein production, which in turn leads to cell damage or even cell death. As a result, tissue function is impaired, which can lead to inflammation in the whole body. This ongoing battle inside the body can lead to the development of chronic illnesses associated with aging. Which ones in particular? First, excessive free radicals are one of the culprits of cancer. If there aren't enough antioxidants to counteract them, free radicals can damage DNA, which can lead to gene mutations. As a result, these mutations may cause cells to proliferate uncontrollably, which is one of the cancer formation mechanisms. Continuous oxidative stress can also promote the development of cardiovascular disease, the condition that's responsible for about a third of all deaths worldwide. One of the disease mechanisms is when free radicals attack lipids in blood vessels. In turn, it can promote the formation of foam cells which can be involved in clogging the arteries. Oxidative stress is also involved in the development of neurological conditions such as Alzheimer's disease. One of the proposed mechanisms is free radicals damaging cellular components within neurons, leading to structural changes and impaired neuronal function. To put it simply, if free radical levels get too high, it contributes to aging and chronic illnesses. But what are the ways to increase antioxidant intake and counteract this oxidative stress? Our bodies can naturally make antioxidants, but it's also crucial to promote antioxidant function with lifestyle and nutrition. First, antioxidants help maintain normal physiology because many dietary antioxidants are essential nutrients. Second, antioxidants may help slow down aging and reduce the chances of developing chronic illnesses. Antioxidant-rich diet is one of the best ways to boost your antioxidant levels. Vitamins E, C, and A are essential nutrients that can't be made by our bodies, so try to include foods rich in these vitamins in your diet. Vitamin E can be found in nuts and vegetable oils, while vitamin C is in citrus fruits and vegetables like broccoli and bell peppers. Vitamin A is found in foods like eggs and leafy greens. Omega-3 fatty acids found in fatty fish and chia seeds are also powerful antioxidants that our bodies can't make. 
you might have also heard about antioxidant supplements. But are they effective? According to research, synthetic antioxidant supplements can actually be detrimental to our health. It's quite a paradox, but consumption of high concentrations of antioxidant supplements can act as pro-oxidants. Therefore, it might be best to stick to a healthy amount of natural sources of antioxidants, especially fruits and veggies. Getting enough antioxidants through diet can reduce the risk of oxidative stress in our bodies, but lifestyle is just as important. First, smoking can increase levels of free radicals in the lungs and weaken antioxidant defense systems. Quitting smoking can help prevent oxidative damage in our bodies. Similarly, continuous exposure to pollution can also increase free radicals in our lungs, which may lead to lung cancer. Oxidative stress might then affect other systems, such as the cardiovascular system, and cause harm to the whole body. To combat this, wearing N95 masks in highly polluted areas and spending more time in green areas away from traffic is recommended. Furthermore, excessive alcohol consumption can lead to oxidative stress in the liver, the organ where alcohol gets metabolized. As a result, free radicals may damage DNA and promote cancer in the liver. Moderating alcohol use would be beneficial for your health. These are the reasons why preventing oxidative stress by getting enough antioxidants is crucial. Antioxidants not only promote your normal physiological functioning, but also may slow down aging and lower your risk of chronic diseases. Now that you know more about the power of antioxidants, your pursuit of science-backed health tips doesn't have to end here. Click the subscribe button to join our health news community and explore our channel for more health-related videos.